driving home and I'm curious that beautiful white Great Dane that we just reunited with the two Great Pyrenees and the black Great Dane, she's fucking dead. Sorry, he's fucking dead. He had a bladder infection, they said. We begged them, can we take her? You know, oh my God. I had sweaters for her. I had all sorts of stuff for her. And they fucking kept her outside in this horrible rain. She was supposed to, he was supposed to get neutered on Tuesday. He had a bladder infection. And this was the dog that they said was so, so depressed. They thought that they were going to have to put him down because um, he missed the black great day and the two great, uh, great Pyrenees. We reunited them. You guys saw those pictures of that beautiful white Great Dane. Well, that beautiful white Great Dane died Tuesday morning before it was even going to get neutered. It was supposed to get neutered Tuesday morning. So I guarantee you, they weren't giving the dog its medication. My friend was going over there and giving it the medication because they were so irresponsible and negligent on when the dog was supposed to get its medication. So we think that the dog even missed some of its medication. So Tuesday morning, they found the, the dog dead. That beautiful white Great Dane is dead. So poor Mishka, I need to see how we can get that dog Mishka back. The, the two giant Great Pyrenees will be okay because they are together. But if we can at least get one of them out of there, the black great day he, he she could not be there in these kind of in this kind of weather without shelter i'm so fucking pissed these people have plenty of money outside we offered to buy them a shed to get them like a, a cute little like like one of those little tiny houses for the damn dogs they have so much property they're wealthy who keeps their dogs outside? What kind of human being keeps their damn dogs outside? Oh my God, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Because we just saw, we just saw that beautiful dog. And the dogs were so happy when we got them reunited. And now, and now the boy is dead. So our goal is to get Mishka out of there as soon as possible. Mishka is the Black Great Dane. Mishka's bonded to the other two, but she's really bonded to my friends, the nurses. She's bonded to us. So if we can get her out of there, that's at least one. Maybe we'll be able to get the other two. And Smokey are like bonded to each other. They're all, all three are bonded, but Bear and Smokey, the two great Pyrenees, you know, they're okay in, in cold weather. I mean, no dog should ever be outside. Oh my God, I'm so pissed. But we have to tread lightly because we don't want to push these people away where they cut us off because we thought that they did cut us off. We were like trying everything to communicate with them in recent days after we reunited the dogs. We thought that they were like, oh, they don't want anything to do with us. We bought, we had all these dog beds. We had all this food for them. We had sweaters. We had everything. I know, I am freaking out. Bruno was the beautiful white Great Dane, and he's dead. And so we're trying to get Mishka, the black Great Dane, back. They just, they, you know, they just don't care for dogs the way we do, but no dog should ever be outside. <sighs> oh my God, I don't know what to do. Wow. Well, Mishka will bond with um, their other dogs uh, the nurses, that's where I had them for six weeks. And, um, I mean, Mishka's such a little girl. I mean, she's a giant dog, but she's just such a little girl. And she, uh, she's so precious, but she needs to get out of there. They have a giant home. They have the facilities. They have, they have so much room there. And they are, like, keeping the fucking dogs outside. God, who treats her dogs like this? I don't know what to do. 
So my friend's going to check on Mishka tonight, the Black Great Dane, and um, and we have to tread lightly because we don't want them to to cut us off. They are their dogs. They're not our dogs. And if we can get Mishka out of there tomorrow or the next day, I mean, she's... Oh, she's just... She acts like a little puppy. She acts like just a little girl. She curls up in blankets. She sleeps in my friend's bed. And here, they've been leaving them outside. So in this, these torrential rains, in this horrible weather, they kept those dogs outside. So Bruno, the white Great Dane, who was sick, and we told him, like, let us take them for two weeks while Bruno's healing so we can administer the medicine properly. You know, um, it, he needs to be in a sanitary place so he can heal. God, they killed that fucking dog. They killed that dog. God. They killed that dog. I just, I can't even believe that. These dogs were just reunited, and that dog now is dead. Wow. Well, we have to play this very carefully in order to rescue them. That's the only way to do it, because they're, we don't, they don't belong to us. So, the only way to go about this is to get them one by one. Or two by two. So we have to get Mishka first. That's just the only two ways about this is we have to get Mishka. Because Mishka is at most at risk because she's short hair. She's a Great Dane. She's cold. We have to get Mishka. We get Mishka and then we focus on Bear and... <sighs> and Smokey. God, this is like unbelievably scary. Really sad. Sorry, guys. I just cannot believe that they killed the dog. I'm like, I'm blown away. I just feel like I'm like in a dream. Like there's no way somebody could be so fucking careless to kill their dog.